I remember with Spartan Overdrive, and he came to me last week with a bit of a build battle type game. How, what, what was your idea? So on my channel, I like to kind of provide my builds to people and uh, let them put them in their world to kind of uh, modify and make their own. And I get a lot of inspiration from other people's builds. And I thought it would be cool to kind of do that with you. Uh, you build something, I build something, we kind of swap and and give the each other's builds kind of our own take kind of the idea that uh you know there isn't any one good way to do something but maybe a few different ways to suit your personal preference right and especially when you get into something just your final product kind of leads toward one way when you're doing in your own style but you can take it in a different direction that's kind of what we're showing right yeah and i always enjoy challenging myself by trying to use new blocks or new scenarios or whatever. And I think we're both doing that today because I, I think neither of one of us have a lot of experience with uh, building in the desert, right? No, no. And that's our, our theme this time is using desert. And I think we're both using sandstone, right? I think we are. I haven't decided yet. Because okay. It'll come to me. <laughs> okay. But probably neutral tones and whatnot. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to get into it. I do have a rough idea of what I want. So this might be a good uh, good example of why you should plan, because I'm not planning. And right, uh, I, I like to have I, that's gonna... I like to have an idea of... And I've, I've talked about this a lot in my last build, where I'll have an idea of like just one thing that I want, and I'll force everything else to work around it. And it usually works out for me. I, um, I, you know, what's funny. I'm actually a, I'm actually a planner in real life. I'm very I'm much <laughs> a perfectionist. We did this personality test the other day and I was very high on the, uh, what's it called? The perfect. I don't remember the other word. I just remember perfect because I thought that was nice. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> I'm perfect. It's Stop perfect. right there. <laughs> that's what I say. Yeah, exactly. Perfect melancholy. That's what I am. And uh, yeah, so apparently, like I, I truly am a perfectionist and I and, and I try not to be so bad because it does have some downsides to it big time. Mm -hmm. And so it's funny how in game I'm so just like there's just no plan i just kind of go with it you know mm -hmm. and i think that's kind of why i've transitioned from going from because I, like, I when i started playing this game i was really more into um into playing with or designing stuff that was real modern and real square and straight i've never and, done modern i don't yeah, see myself started, ever yeah. doing modern i watched corrales back when he was doing that the, corrales shows off some beautiful things yeah he he really i thought that was pretty that was, that was what Minecraft was to me. I was like, well, this is mm -hmm. all square, straight lines. That's what it's supposed to be, right? But um, apparently, uh, you can do some cool stuff that's kind of organic. And Absolutely. since then, I've learned, like, I, I prefer that. It's it's more of a challenge, and it, it looks prettier once you get it done, in my opinion. To be fair, I don't know when you start playing, but when I start playing, there weren't upside-down stairs and like right. and, like, walls. And stuff like that adds a ton of depth. Like just throwing a few stairs into your design, and oh man, no it's doubt. completely different. By the way, how do you start out a building like this? Like I've got, I put down a frame, and then I put down a very rough box of basically sandstone. Do you start like that, and then add um, the details? <laughs> yeah, I start out with uh, this particular build. Like every build is different. Yeah. Um, some builds I start with the foundation because I know the general shape that I want. Right. This one I had no clue, so I literally just made a box, and then I've already had to increase the size a little bit, and I'm already having to make some adjustments. And now it's starting to take a shape. Like I literally just placed down some logs at the corner where I thought I would have the build, because I'm going to have logs on the corners, by the way. And I just placed those down, and it ended up being too small, so I moved it, and then I left some. And now I'm like, okay, that might make a neat shape. Let's see what happens if I pull the wall out to that. And it's not at all... Like I have no vision for this at all. <laughs> it's, if it, if you're gonna, this is gonna be an easy one to improve for you, I think. <laughs> oh boy, bone blocks are like dirty enough to almost work. Oh, but good call. But at the same time, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this. 
So you were talking about... You had something to say when I mentioned nether brick and oh. red sandstone. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm going to say this. Uh, possibly by the time this video comes out, it will probably be my previous video. I have learned to appreciate uh, nether brick a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But it has its application, but it's not a common one. It's not for me. No. So I nether brick is one of those things that i i appreciate because i feel like it does have its use it may not be for me but that's okay like i and and you it's, know i and that's where i enjoy trying to find a use for it like it's I, no I die right <laughs> well yeah, see yeah exactly so that okay that's what bugs me is that particular uh was that 1.8 where die right um yeah i think so worst. Oh my goodness. I like that was a great I think that was a huge really great update if I remember correctly. But the blocks were just horrible. There were no slabs or stair variants. There were no God, how do they make these decisions? Man, it kills me. <laughs> it, it bugs me so much. I actually like what I've come up with here. Mine's coming together slowly. And the funny thing is I'm using a bunch of stuff that I don't like. Like we were talking a minute ago about blocks that we do and don't like and Typically, I, I I don't like these blocks, but uh, they're but I do this. I really enjoy trying to use something that I don't like and making myself like. Oh man, I, I see like... something that I don't like. Oh yeah. I mean, I saw someone post on I think it was Detail Craft a desert theme with purple blocks, and it looked really good. But now I place it, and I'm like, no, that's still. A awful really? color it's just a I horrible imagine. color i think purple here's what i think about. i actually have an idea i'm not going to say what it is yet but i have an idea that i'm excited about with purple blocks and it's the only thing i can think of that would make those look good i think those require a fantasy book. like with another oh yeah you know what i'm saying like you'd you have to be out you know, there in my my typical build style is not isn't really fantastical it's just i'm trying to be do realism if anything and i don't think that purple blocks are good for that at all. I just don't see how you can make them look good in a realistic kind of way. Now, the idea here is that I'm going to build this exterior and you're going to do the interior, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think that's uncommon, is it? I think a lot of people don't it, like it. It adds so much, but it's just tedious. It's it like really does. a lot of the blocks are hard to get. That's one thing for me in survival. I spent literally oh, hours yeah, sure. getting uh bookshelves uh-huh and i was just like i placed them down i ran out i was like this sucks i hate these things <laughs> uh, i hate the wool colors in vanilla texture pack too like orange is just the worst thing ever like i love the cyan wool absolutely the best wool in the game but other than that some of them are kind of bad that's another thing that bugs me is that the game, they, how, how do they choose the colors? <laughs> like, why, why is blue actually purple? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, isn't cyan supposed to be, like, it's gray in the game, right? For the heart, clay, it is. For the wool, it's a really nice cyan. Exactly. Like, why, you know what I mean? Like, what's. The clays know. are actually like a mix of like the wool the dye color with um brown like the original hardened clay color oh okay i see so they're they're okay well you know that actually makes i'm a little more okay with it sometimes it just takes a little understanding and, and part of it is like older blocks kind of get a pass for me like as ugly blocks like okay these are just part of the game whatever but then they go out of their way to yes. add something like granite and i'm like you had business meetings about this thing <laughs> and, and on a complete game money. the game is complete and you thought what could we add to make this game better and this is what you thought of no i agree man granted in real life is gorgeous i mean people pay big bucks for it and and then nobody wants it in the game like mm -hmm. but, you know it that's that's an indication of not great design i i don't know you know i I want to harp on on the design of this game, but I'm like, it's probably someone's job. 
you know, like, I don't know, like they're probably a nice person and I don't want to be the guy that's probably, they just aren't very good with colors. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's their job is what I'm saying. (laughs) They probably should be. (laughs) Mine is actually pretty plain Jane. Like. That's fine. Like, like I like it. This is the kind of thing that I wish that they would put village in villages. Yeah, instead of the plain stuff they have. Mm-hmm. And I, I think it's really important to have things that don't take away from your focal point, having like a common house not be the center of attention. So it's also good on that front. Say that again. Like, if if I'm in a town, I try to make sure that there are certain focal points. So in my farming town, there's the Farmer's Guild, there's right. the windmill, and then I try to make sure that a common, average, boring house isn't going to be a focal point. I don't want that to be, like, the most interesting thing in the area. Because you want to give a town a sense of a bit of, like, continuity, like it, like it's big and it's not Mm -hmm. there's a difference between having like 20 semi-interesting houses and five gorgeous houses i'd rather have 20 semi-interesting houses for the feel of a town you know right right yeah there's definitely there's definitely a um a level of detail in uh, provided just by quantity Mm -hmm. which is which is strange because typically you would think you know, quality over quantity kind of thing. Um, but yeah, you're absolutely right. I'm doing some things I don't typically do because I'm trying to stretch. I don't typically do any of this. This is some weird stuff. Loving it. I don't hate it. It's coming together, but it definitely needs some work. So you'll, (laughs) you'll be able to do some stuff for sure. (laughs) You'll like my interior edition. (laughs) It's a nice reference. <laughs> a reference to you. Oh no. So we have each other's files. And now we're going to make modifications. We haven't seen them yet. Are you ready to click on it? Let's let's see the reveal. Loading world. Building terrain. Oh, see, oh, I like. Oh my goodness! I like oh. this. You went like a completely different direction than you made it sound like you're going to. Yeah, I did, didn't I? I it just could, didn't come to me. I see what you're saying about the logs. I like the, yeah, about the tops being capped off or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, you kept commenting about orange and the way you were com. Um, I'm glad you did because I really wanted to. I. I like it. So what are we going to do? You know what? I had bushes and I took them out. I wasn't sure if I should have them or not, but I like them. Do you see the interior? Oh, no. Uh -uh. I forgot about that. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, that's awesome. I just, I I picked a painting out and that was the first thing that came up. I was like, cool. That's funny. Was that my first? That was one of my first videos, I think, on my channel. That's cool. That's cool, man. Thanks. I didn't know what you were talking about when you said that. <laughs> That's awesome. I like your double entrance. I like that you've got the L shape going on here. And mm-hmm. you put, you had the same idea as me as by putting it up top. What I'll do when I have a design figured out, so let's say that I use that design, I decide that I want to make a town with that. I'll like go around and place different shaped foundations, and it's basically mm-hmm. like copy-paste mm-hmm. style and just fitting it to the shape of it. So yeah, that's I'll just what I change uh, shapes like that. That's an interesting idea to put the signs behind the banners like that. It's kind of like they're being held well without the swaying. It looks like they're kind of being held down. You had the same idea with the birch, mm-hmm. I like that. I did try other woods. I did try I did clay. Too. I tried red, mm-hmm. red sandstone, and it was just mm-hmm. like two out there. I tried yeah. bone, and it just looked. See, the bone looks closer to this um, 
Oh, I've got smooth your, stem. Oh, this stone. is cool. I have, I have, I didn't know this. It worked like this, but I have your um, hot bar. Oh, cool. Really yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah. That. I have dirt, which I, I definitely don't use. Pond, I was gonna put a pond, a oasis area like you you did, uh -huh. and I just I kind of ran out of time and I couldn't figure out how to do it in enough time. But yeah, that's cool. All right, so I'm trying to get ideas here. I do have I some. I have an idea of what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to take this orange to the next level, man. <laughs> I was like, take it out and make something new of it. And you're like, I'm going to take it further. Dude, we are going all out. Yeah, uh, you had end stone brick in your hot bar. Blame it on you if nobody likes it. Because okay. I didn't. Yeah, no, it's it's funny because like I wanted to do it so bad, and now that you've done it, it's like permission to just go to town on it. <laughs> I like the like shade. I don't know what you'd call this with the signs. It'd give you shade. That's what I was talking about, trying to figure out. It's I call it a pergola. I don't know if that's. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's that. It's the thing you're looking at. Okay. <laughs> I'm probably totally wrong, but um, that's what I've been calling it anyway. That's what I was talking about, though. I, I wanted to tr try to figure out how to do that, but really, I needed. You kind of have to. Ha you have to have a wall, you know, to start that whole thing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so I was. I only had like logs up at first, at, at the top part of the structure, on each corner, and no wall situation. And so I couldn't figure out what for the longest time how to make that work. And I don't know. It's all right, I guess. I'm trying to stay away from just like applying what I just did to this one. Like I want to find oh, something dude. new. Same here. My first thought was, well, I could add some, you know, I can honestly say that, you know, we were originally talking about like personalizing the builds. Uh huh. And since this is all new to me, like, I don't know if it's, <laughs> it's not necessarily personalized. I'm just trying to <laughs> Because you don't have your own style, really. Yeah, I've not really developed my own desk style yet. I'm kind of in the process of it. But I think that's what's so, like, that's what I enjoy about this game is kind of coming up with that stuff with, based on, like, what others have uh, done. Because you can't help but be influenced, you know? Mm -hmm. I think I've 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 determined like there there is nothing new in the game of Minecraft. Like <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I try to be as original as I can and like there's and some other some, dude that's done this. Somebody's already done it, yeah. So so I don't even I'm just like ah, I'm just gonna do what I like and if someone's done it, that's fine. To be fair though, you have to give yourself credit. If you've given any thought into building, into going into like like the stupid stuff that I think about with like focus points and all this stuff you're already ahead of 99 percent of everyone that's ever downloaded minecraft that's building well, dirt boxes yeah well yeah i mean that's but i mean a lot of that yeah some of that's just some people have design and did you like what i did with the you know? banners yeah i do i like that a lot i'm gonna have i was gonna say i'm gonna have to change the colors but i might not in fact i kind of like the blue I kind of like the blue and the orange together. It's something I kind of like to do in, in general. So the clay you were talking about, I like that flag. I might. Yeah, to... that's what I was talking about. Yeah, I'm, I am going to have to change it a little bit because it's, I don't know if I want to tell you what I'm doing, because <laughs> you'll, it might, it's not going to ruin it, but you know. No, that flag is almost like out of place, I would say. <laughs> No, I like it. I just, I, I need to change one of the colors because of what I'm doing to the rest of the tower. You're right about that orange. The orange wool. Being ugly? Mm. I'm going to, I'm going to appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, I, I like I it. It's, I like it the way that I used it, I think. It's very subtle. I couldn't use it in any more of an oh, obvious way it's just too I, too much of i was actually trying just now to make it um if you can make it work then that's awesome the well i was i was replacing the the clay in the flag with it oh because i was trying to the clay is clashing with some other stuff now oh yeah and so i'm trying to change it up and it oh well maybe that'll work i might 
Yeah, I don't know. We'll go back and forth on that one too, I'm sure. Do you have a uh, a wither skull in your hot bar? <laughs> I was gonna do something weird. Like just I was I was I was gonna ask if I should be on the lookout for something. <laughs> no. I thought about it. Like I said, I'm trying to get outside of my comfort zone and not only build with the same because it gets boring if you only ever use the same materials. Stone for everything, oak for everything. <laughs> exactly. I mean you could do a lot of the great stuff with, with that, honestly. But um and dirt, man, dirt's like one of my favorite blocks now. Honest like I like dirt. There's dirt with everywhere. Dirt. Yeah, with coarse dirt and with um, the new path blocks, it looks really, I mean, you can really decorate something up, especially if you're going for more of a medieval or a rundown look or something. All right, we both have our own files back. Ready to see what I did to yours and what you did to mine? Let's take a look. Right. I'm sure mine is a little less. Oh, you added out. a lot more. Well, I didn't add much. I just. Uh, I meant orange. I I trailed out there orange. Mm -hmm. I told I told you I. Uh, I like the blue town. absolutely, and it brings out the water. Yeah, on the on the uh, flags. Yep. Come out. Yep. Oh, good call. Um, I oh, really good call. I really like what you did for with what the, uh, with the side, the water um, over there and then the arches you put in next to it. Yeah. that I and feel that like that kind of fixed awesome. your issue with the pillars being out. I just kind of uh -huh. made that wall two dimensional. And you know, what's funny is or that give it depth. We, I typically like that side by side texture is kind of what I was talking about that I didn't like, but it works in this situation. Mm -hmm. Like it really does. I like that a lot. Because it's not a whole flat wall. You've still got the dimension in there. So it's, it's, <laughs> You didn't ruin my it. painting. <laughs> no way. That's, why would I do that? <laughs> yeah, that's sharp, man. I like the uh, dimensions on... Uh, or the dimensions, the different textures on the roof and stuff. Looks oh, good. this arch is a good idea. Oh, you put carpet on top. I didn't think about that. That's not a bad... That arch is what I had to do to separate, to keep it from that... Uh, the textures being side by side because the I was trying to figure out how not to rebuild that entire mm -hmm. tower. And since I'd made it orange, it you know, it butted right up against the other wall. Oh, that works well. That is yeah. something that I could definitely see using a lot. That is called a, a flying like this. buttress. A flying buttress. And I remember it because it's fun to say and it's a silly word. <laughs> The chest thing is something I forgot to do too. I was gonna do that, and I forgot. So that looks good. This would definitely bring a basically an entire different theme. Having that much red, it could yeah. bring a tone in a completely different direction, which isn't a bad yeah. thing. But you would have well, to I feel, consider I, that. I mean, yeah, I don't know if I, you know. I kind of liked it. I, I like I said, I was just gonna go with it, go for it, and take it to an extreme level or whatever. No, I like but, it. It's just um, like it. It was like, like almost it. a complete change in theme. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. And you made yeah, the man, orange wool not look good, so dude. bad. <laughs> Do what now? The sherbet wool look not so bad. You know, I actually replaced it with white, and then I went back to orange just because everything else was the orange and, and, uh, and blue colors. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, well, it just makes sense to keep it that way, you know. But yeah. Dude, this is sharp, man. I really like... I really like the arches you put in. I also That's... removed some of your fences and added some stairs to the top of your walls to give it some depth. I don't know yes. if you noticed that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of like what you did on yours. I like it. Uh, it's like, I forget what it's called, but it's that castle detail that yours has. There's, mm -hmm. a, there's a name. It's like dental yeah. something. There's a I'm name sure. for it. I don't know yeah. all these names. Whatever it is. It's blocks. <laughs> I, like I, I place you... blocks. <laughs> Yeah, I like how you did that without doing it on my build, how it's like, you know what I mean? Like adding those stairs kind of adds mm -hmm. the detail of that without actually adding that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right, cool. so I'd say this was a success. Yeah, me too. This would be I'm interesting to in a, in my world somewhere. And a this bunch of cool. other themes. Really, as long yeah. as we have a theme for it, it's it'll be a fun game to play. 
Yeah, absolutely, man. Thanks for uh, doing this with me. We, I had a good time. Yep, no problem. And everybody, I'll look forward to doing this in the future. If you have any theme recommendations, let us know. Absolutely. We'll keep our eye out for it. Now for the next three hours of editing. Yep. <laughs> Bye. All right, take care.